Alright, so uh, today I have another fireside chat for you, and uh, today we have something a little bit more special out of the ordinary. We have a Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Let's open this guy up and uh, see what we got today. Alright, so this is actually one of my favorite revolvers. Um, basically because... I, I have an affinity for the more unusual or like different type of revolvers, and this definitely falls into that category. First of all, Smith & Wesson has been doing revolvers for a very long time, so they're a very reputable, well-known company for reliable and uh, high-quality revolvers. Just the finish on them, the smoothness of the trigger, and the consistency, very good. Uh, what this is, is actually their performance center, so if you want to think about it more like a custom type 1911 or closer to custom. so. Um, they put a lot more attention to the details, um, the craftsmanship is much better, and um, typically you get uh, a much uh, smoother and lighter trigger pull than your traditional revolvers. And so you end up paying a little bit more for it, but it's definitely worth the, the extra that you put into the gun. Uh, this one has a, basically a classic rubber grip, and uh, they've got a nice two-tone finish with it, so the revolver is mostly black but with silver accents, and I think it looks lovely. Um, you have your traditional fluted cylinder, and uh, this one is actually a V8 model, is um, a 357 Magnum V8, and so you actually get 8 rounds capacity, which is actually quite nice if you consider back in the day when people were comparing um, revolver caliber to um, like their, your standard semi-automatic, which was a single stack, you, you know, you were coming up with a few extra rounds, and so people were arguing semi-automatic was better. Their answer was just to jam a couple more extra rounds into the cylinder, and so you were able to kind of match that capacity and have the reliability of a revolver. You know, you don't have issues with jamming and that kind of thing. This is sort of a dated concept, though. However, uh, it, it does make for a very unique revolver since you don't see them in a higher capacity. Um, and it doesn't really increase the thickness by too much, so you can definitely still make use of it. Um, this one is... Um, it's got the full shroud, which actually gives a really nice aesthetic to it. And uh, if you look from the front here, and point the muzzle at you, but uh, basically if you look from the front here, it's kind of slimmed down, sort of in a V shape. And so it, it just gives it a really nice overall look. And you also have a compensator on the top to basically just um, alleviate the... Uh, yeah, the additional recoil you're getting at. However, because this is a pretty hefty gun, even if you are shooting 357 Magnum, it should be more than controllable. This just makes it like you're cheating, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a beautiful gun, uh, and I mean, it it kind of reminds me of um, like when you watch like uh, action movies and like uh, one of the one of the characters pulls out like a really sweet custom gun. This is kind of like fits into that category, you know, like the more unique or like maybe it's like a, one of the higher like boss level bad guys or, or something or like Punisher kind of thing. And so I really, I really like that aesthetic. Um, they also have a rear adjustable sight and uh, there's a painted uh, like a high vis orange sight on the front. So that's kind of cool as well. Now, um, this gun is cut for moon clips, um, so that's that's also a, a nice additional feature, and they do give you some. Uh, not that. You got the moon clips here for eight shot, and so basically uh, you would just link in each of the rounds, and you can put it in your pocket like that, and basically it, it almost makes for like a makeshift speed loader, and so that's kind of cool, and it's a very low profile as well. So some people really like that option. And it also comes with a front cap that uh, does not have the compensator in case you kind of like the more flush look without the cuts at the top. So this is definitely some a piece that includes uh, in the package and uh, you can definitely replace that out. So um, that's pretty much all I got for you. We're here to just look at a really sweet revolver today. And um, yeah, I mean... Uh, if you're interested in it, it's actually a very reasonable price. They set it right around $1,500 or so. And for a revolver of this caliber, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, actually, um, it's actually a very, very good deal. So if you're looking for something to kind of impress your, your friends, you know, and show up to the range with a badass gun, this is the gun for you if you like revolvers. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we want to thank West Coast Armory for lending us the firearm. Uh, this is actually on sale currently. And... Um, 
Yeah, uh, also thank you for the facilities as well. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. We also have a Facebook. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more awesome fireside videos.